No, sorry. Oh, okay. Okay, Jean. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Rye Free Reading Room Tales for Tots program. My name is Granny Jean. Do you know what your name is? Huh? Can you tell me? Oh, I think I remember you. Well, come on, everybody. Let's have a good time today, shall we? Get, get your mommies and your daddies and your mamas and your nannies together and uh, uh, support the program, encourage you to participate. Absolutely. So come on, we're going to have a good time. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Oh, absolutely. It's so nice to get outside. It's not raining out. It's not really too hot. And it's so fun to see what's crawling around in the ground, right? Of course, I was never terribly fond of these little creatures here. And of course, this is much bigger than what a real black carpenter ant looks like. They used to eat up some of my house. <laughs> but anyway, this is a song that is kind of a marching song. Okay, can you sort of march? March, 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 march. Oh, the ants go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. Oh, the ants go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. All the ants go marching one by one. The little one stops to suck his thumb and they all go marching down under the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. All the ants go marching two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. All the ants go marching two by two. The little one stops to tie his shoe and they all go marching down under the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching three by three. Hurrah, hurrah. Oh, the ants go marching three by three. Hurrah, hurrah. Oh, the ants go marching three by three. The little one stops to climb a tree. He's going up. And they all go marching down under the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching four by four. Hurrah. Hurrah, oh, the ants go marching four by four. Hurrah, hurrah, oh, the ants go marching four by four. Oh, the little one stops to shut the door and they all go marching down under the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching five by five. Hurrah, hurrah, oh, the ants go marching five by five. Hurrah, hurrah, oh, the ants go marching five by five. The little one stops to look at a beehive and they all go marching down under the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. Was that fun? Did you go marching? I hope so. I hope you did. Well, let's see what we have here. <clears throat> what I think is kind of fun outside is pretend that we're going to go hunting. Right. Right. I have. I have here some binoculars and I'm going to pretend to find some wild animals. I wonder what I can see. Oh, 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 a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a pig and put him in a wig and then we'll let him go. Oh, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a what is that? A skunk and put him in a bunk and then we'll let him go. Oh, hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a, what's that? A fish and put him in a dish and then we'll let him go. Oh, hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a, What's this? A goat and put him in a boat and then we'll let him go. Oh, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a snail and put him in a pail 
and then we'll let him go. Oh, hunting we will go, hunting we will go. We'll catch a bear and put him in underwear and then we'll let him go. Oh, hunting we will go, hunting we will go. We'll catch a woo, snake huh, and put him in a cake and then we'll let him go. Oh, hunting we will go. A uh, hunting we will go. We'll catch a, what's this? A baby sheep? A lamb and put him in a pram. What's a pram? That's a little baby carriage over in England. And then we'll let him go. Oh, a hunting we will go. A uh, hunting we will go. We'll catch a brontosaurus and put him in the chorus and then we'll let him go. Oh, hunting we will go, a uh, hunting we will go. We'll just pretend and in the end, we'll always let them go. Absolutely. Of course we'll let them go. Goodness gracious. And uh, just pretend, right? We're all just pretend. <clears throat> well, before we have our first book, Wizzy Wizard has a great tip for us. And it's a very important one too. Children need background information, uh, knowledge about the world in order to later understand what they read and uh, what words really have the meaning of. Um, <clears throat> includes, uh, that includes knowledge <clears throat> about um, uh, things, understanding ideas and concepts like uh, opposites, which we're doing today, and you can see in some of the books, right? And under and uh, uh, thinking skills and problem solving, right? And predicting, knowing how long, how stories work. So this is very important to be talking to your child as you uh, go through the day. <clears throat> well, let's see what we have here. We have a book about a little toddler, a little baby who stays home with his daddy and mommy goes to work. Kimberly G, and she's the one who wrote it, or it might be Kimberly G, I'm not really sure. I think maybe G, and it's called Up, 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 Down. And see that little, little guy? He's crawling up and then he falls down, down. Down. See if you know where up and down are. Do you? There he is. He's waking up from his nap. Daddy comes in. Up, up, up. Oh, down, down. He wants to get down and play with that toy, doesn't he? Having some, some, I guess it's breakfast, right? And what? but he doesn't seem to want that breakfast. No, 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 no. Ah, but the blueberries, yes. Oh, there, that's his treat, huh? Okay, he's getting him dressed on, on, get everything on. We're getting ready to go out, on, on. My daddy gets ready and then, up. Ah, everything's off. Oh my goodness me. I have to do that all over again, says daddy, huh? On go the clothes and you take them off in a big second. Oh my goodness. Hurry, hurry, let's get back, back dressed again. Hurry, 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 pick up your toys. Hurry, hurry. Slow down, wait for me. <laughs> oh, swimming lesson. Swimming lesson. Daddy takes me to swimming lesson. <gasps> can't, can't, can't. He doesn't want to. I, I can, and the teacher catches him just fine. He has his little water wings on. Oh, they're at the, playing in the sandbox. What is daddy building, right? Make, 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 he's making sand castles. And what is that little guy doing? He's breaking them. Make, 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 break. <laughs> Those are opposites, right? Building up and tearing down. Oh, ice cream, yum, yum, yum. What a nice treat. Oh, let's check the diaper. Oh, yuck, 
Ugh, that's not so nice. Oh, a balloon, yay, yay, yay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Sad, sad, sad. <laughs> uh, better, yeah, daddy makes it better. Ah, fun, fun, fun with daddy inside. Fun, fun, fun. Back and mommy came home. Fun time, yeah. Fun time. Oh, John, look at that daddy. He's had a busy day. He's sound asleep. And it looks like baby's almost asleep. And mommy's there reading a story to baby. The day is all done. <laughs> Book of Opposites by Kimberly Gee. <clears throat> well, here's a very old nursery rhyme. And um, there in it are uh, words that uh, we are not familiar with. Crow and caper, those are sounds that babies make when they're happy and laughing and giggling. And the coral shells were once a long time ago, hung over cribs to, they felt that uh, awarded off, um, warded off um, illness. So here we go. Dance little baby, dance up high. Never mind baby, mother is by. Crow and caper, caper and crow. There little baby, there you go. Up to the ceiling, down to the ground, backwards, forwards, round and round. Dance, little baby, and mama will sing with a merry choral and a ring a ding ding. Yeah. So here we go. Dance, little baby, dance up high. Never mind, baby, mother is by. Crow and caper, caper and crow. There, little baby, there you go. Up to the ceiling, down to the ground. Backwards, forwards, up, around and around. I won't put her upside down. But dance, little baby, and mama will sing with a merry choral and a ring a ding ding. Actually, I should say grandma will sing, right? Mama doesn't quite fit the picture here. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Well, this is kind of fun. Here's a very old toy too. A very old toy, no batteries. Nope. Let's pretend we're Jack in the boxes. Yep. I used to crank it. And pop goes the weasel. All around the mulberry bush, the monkey chased the weasel. And when it came to pop, broop, up popped the Jack in the box. But here we go. We have him on a stick today. Jack in the box, all shut up tight. Not a breath of air. Not a ray of light. How tired he must be all down in a heap. We lift the lid and up, tail leap. Can you pretend you're a jack in the box and jump up like that? Let's see. Jack in the box, all shut up tight. Not a breath of air, not a ray of light. How tired he must be all down in a heap. The lid and up, tail leap. Hello, everybody. Well, we had a, a, a day yesterday, if you're watching this on Monday, a daddy's day, a very special day. <laughs> and this big, big rabbit here, look at that big rabbit with his long ears. He doesn't look like the rabbits around here, does he? No, he's a hare. Call him a hare because he has long ears and long uh, back feet, back legs. And they really can go fast. They're much bigger than our little bunnies. And here is Peter Rabbit and little Peter Rabbit. But they were, they're not hares really. But I thought that'd be kind of fun to have there while we read the story. What do you think? Guess How Much I Love You by Sam the McGratton. And this is a classic. Yeah. And <clears throat> Daddy is putting his baby to bed. And there he is playing with his baby too. 
little nut brown hair, who was going to bed, held on tight to big, big nut brown hair's very long ears. Look at that. Oh my. I was a big rabbit. He wanted to be sure that big nut brown hair was listening. Guess how much I love you, he said. Oh, I don't think I could guess that, said big nut brown hair. <laughs> Look at him hanging onto his daddy's ears. That's so cute. <laughs> this much, said little nut brown hair, stretching out his arms as wide as he as they could go what there. Oh, this much. Wow, that's a lot, right? <clears throat> what does daddy say? Big nut brown hair held even longer arms, but I love you this much, he said. Oh my. <clears throat> hmm, that is a lot, thought little nut brown hair. That is a lot, yeah. <clears throat> Oh, I love you as high as I can reach, said little nut brown hair. And there he stretches way up. Well, I love you as high as I can reach, said big nut brown hair. That is very high, thought little nut brown hair. I wish I had arms like that. Well, he will very soon. Right? Then little nut brown hair had a good idea. He tumbled upside down and reached up the trunk of the tree with his feet. <laughs> Look at that. I love you all the way up to my toes, he said. <clears throat> And oh, I love you all the way up to your toes, said Big Nut Brown Hair, swinging him up over his head. Look at that. <clears throat> so those toes are really high, right? I love you as high as I can hop, laughed Little Nut Brown Hair. Look at that. Bouncing up and down. But I love you as high as I can hop, smiled Big Nut Brown Hair, and he hopped us so high that his ears touched the branches above. Look at that. That's good hopping, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. I wish I could hop like that. <clears throat> I love you all the way down the lane as far as the river cried little nut brown hair. Oh, I love you <clears throat> across the river and over the hills, said big nut brown hair. It's very far, thought little nut brown hair. <clears throat> he was almost too sleepy to think anymore. Then he looked beyond the thorn bushes out, out into the big dark night. Nothing could be farther than the sky. Oh, he is so sleepy. I love you right up to the moon, he said, and closed his eyes. Oh, that's far, said Big Nut Brown Hair. That is very, very far. So he's holding his baby rabbit and it's, he's almost asleep. Big Nut Brown Hair settled knit, <clears throat> little Nut Brown Hair in his bed of leaves. And he leaned over and kissed him. Good night. Oh. Look at that. Then he lay down close by and whispered with a smile, I love you right up to the moon and back. <laughs> yeah, daddy always. Trumped him, right? <clears throat> <clears throat> well, we don't have these animals around our, oh dear, our house, do we? No. 
so we can't go hunting for him. But anyway, we can go to the zoo. I went to the zoo last week. Yesterday I had to laugh because I saw a big giraffe. He had a neck so very high. It reached way up into the sky. Can you pretend you're a giraffe with your head way up there, up, huh? These long legs. Yesterday I had to laugh because I saw a big giraffe. He had a neck so very high, it reached way up into the sky. Yeah. They have long eyelashes, they're beautiful eyes. Yeah, I love them. I love them too. They are so sweet. <clears throat> well, let's see if we have that snail back. Here he is. And he, he's in the garden sometimes. And they do, they do eat our plants, unfortunately, right? And let's see if we can find the little mouse. And the mouse comes into our house sometimes and causes trouble too. But that's the way life is. Slowly, slowly, very slowly creeps the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very slowly up the wooden rail. Quickly, quickly, very quickly runs a little mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly round about the house. Right. Yeah, the snails are very slow, but the little mouse is very fast. Yes, he is. So here we go. Great tickly game for your babies and for your big kids too. Slowly, slowly, very slowly runs, <coughs> goes to garden snail. This slowly, slowly, very slowly up the wooden rail. Quickly, quickly, very quickly runs a little mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly round about the house. A great tickly game, absolutely. Well, my last book today is about birds. Do birds have fur like the animals? Hmm? No, 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 no. The giraffe has furs. But birds have what? Feathers. Right. Feathers for lunch by Lois Alert. And look at that cat. She has a bell on. Do you know why she has a bell on? And if she gets out, the birds, <laughs> birds can hear it. You see the bell. <laughs> and, and they'll know to get out of her way. Yeah. They'll know that she's out. Ah, oh, look who's peeking out the window. Oh boy, he sees that bird. And what do, and what do cats like to do? They love to chase things and they love to catch them and eat them. Uh-oh, doors left open, just a crack. Open. My cat is out. He won't come back. Uh-oh. He's looking for lunch, something new. You know what that bird is? That's a robin, remember? He's up on my board, the robin. A spicy treat for today's menu. Jay, Jay, Jay. The blue jay, right, that's the blue jay. His food in a can is tame and mild. The cardinal. Right. Here, here, here. Oh. So he's out for something wild, like a little wren. He's snooping and sneaking. Those birds still look, sure look good. What is that? That's a red-headed woodpecker. Yes. If he could catch one, he'd eat it, he would. Ahree, ahree, says the red-winged blackbird. 
But when his bell jingles, birds call a loud warning. Ah, big cat got out early this morning. Those are warning doves. But cats can't fly and they can't soar. It's a flicker. And birds know what their wings are for, right? Little hummingbird, he is fast. Oh, he's a fast one. Cats are fast too. Uh, so he keeps prowling, hoping to munch. Oh, put that boat in here. But all he catches are feathers for lunch. Gotcha. <laughs> I caught you. I caught you before you could do any damage. And here are all the birds that we have in our backyard. Here. They're all there. The ones that got away, they are all in our backyard. <clears throat> well, my goodness me. Some people just aren't very organized. And this is Nicholas Ned. Ned. Oh my goodness, where did I put the keys? Oh, I can't find the keys to my car. Oh my gracious. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what time is it? Oh, I didn't know it was so late. I'm gonna be late for work. Oh, Nicholas Ned, he lost his head and put a turnip on instead. Broop. That's a turnip, but alas, he could not see. He thought it was night and went to bed. Isn't that silly? Turnip's a great big vegetable. Yeah, it grows underground. It grows underground like a potato or like a, a carrot, right? And so here's Nicholas Ned, and I'm sure you've heard people say, maybe, maybe you have or have not, but they say they've lost their head when they're just not thinking clearly, right? Oh, Nicholas Ned, he lost his head and put a turnip on instead. Whoop. But alas, on me, he couldn't see. He thought it was night and went to bed. <laughs> what a silly thing. What a silly thing that is. Oh, no, no, no. Here they are. Did you learn any lessons? Did you learn your lessons about teasing? Hmm? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, and there they are swinging in the trees. Five little monkeys swinging in the trees, teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And four little monkeys swinging in the tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And whoop, three little monkeys swinging in the tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And stop, two little monkeys. Swinging in the tree, teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snap. One little monkey swinging in the tree, teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and no more monkeys swinging in the tree. Teasing's not nice. Oh, you naughty monkeys. Now here I am gonna to have to put my hand down inside that alligator's mouth and rescue you again. Don't you ever learn? Oh my goodness. Never learn, never learn. Well, let's see what we have here. We have an old rhyme. 
I've changed just a little bit. Rub a dub dub, three men in a tub, and who do you think they be? The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. Helpers, they are, are all three. And what do they do? Hmm? The butcher cuts the meat. The butcher cuts the meat. Hi ho, the dairy old. The butcher cuts the meat. And the baker bakes the bread. The baker bakes the bread. Hi ho, the dairy old. The baker bakes the bread. And the candlestick maker makes the light. The candlestick maker makes the light. Hi ho, the dairy old. The candlestick maker makes the light. And of course, we have Con Edison now that helps us with light, right? <clears throat> Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, three men in a tub, and who do you think they be? The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. Helpers, they are all three. Absolutely. Well, let's see what we have up here. Let's see, do we have the nighttime? Little nut brown hair went to sleep, right? <clears throat> but before he did, what was shining, huh? You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. You are my moonshine, my only moonshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my moonshine away. Now what's gonna come out if there are no clouds? Ah, the stars. You are my star shine, my only star shine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my star shine away. Okay, well, I think it's time for our bye-bye song. <clears throat> so bye-bye to my little kitty. And there she is. And bye-bye to Nicholas Ned. Did you find your head okay? Yeah, yeah, I went and took a nap, yep. And bye-bye to all those mischievous monkeys. It's time to say goodbye. And bye-bye to my little baby. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And bye-bye to all my friends. And bye-bye to their nannies and mommies and daddies. It's time to say goodbye. Hope to see you next week. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>